Hi everyone, my name is Partha Malikarjun and I am part of the 2013 New Jersey Learners cohort. And this is my project over here and my project is to have some element of consistency between on the traffic lights between route 1 and route 30 on this road called route 522. Let me show you what exactly I mean by that. Let me use this camera to sort of zoom in a bit. Now this is where it starts, right at the top. Let's say it's route one, that's the intersection of route one and 522. And as you can see, the traffic light is such that you can make a left on left only and once that's done the traffic light turns green and uh, vehicles turning left from either side can pass if if it's possible to do so safely so that means that you know if you're making a left turn and there's no one coming in the opposite direction <clears throat> you can do so now just maybe about um, quarter of a mile down this is the intersection of 522 and new road and here's where the fun sort of begins now if you are making uh, if you're coming on new road and trying to make a left on to 522 you get a left <coughs> only uh, traffic light and once that's done now for some strange reason even though the amount of traffic there is not that much, uh, you, you cannot, there, there's no green light. So that means that if you miss that left only, you are stuck for the next uh, maybe a minute, minute and a half. And then uh, here's the next one, that's the Ridge Road, where again it's a bit uh, complicated. If, <clears throat> if you, um, depending on when you come, if you're lucky you can go through right away within maybe about a few seconds but if you're not then again you know you have to wait about 25 um, 30 seconds uh, coming down uh, again this one is the intersection of Kingston and 522 now you know the other uh, thing also to be noted is the direction of how the traffic uh, moves in uh, some instances the traffic going west to east, east gets preference that is they get left first and in some cases some traffic lights traffic going the opposite direction that is east to west get uh, through first again you know this this element of inconsistency and <clears throat> this is the one the summer field one where you know there's this shopping uh, shopping mall stop and shop and you would think that uh, you know if there's a traffic that's exiting this mall on to 522 you know they would have a short enough interval but for some reason there the interval is almost like a minute and a half and so on and then all the way down here to the junction of 522 and 130 because again you know in complete contrast to one uh, right at the top where you know you can have traffic from both sides at the same time going through at the green light here it's uh, different so traffic uh, let's go that making a left on the 130 and then you know this one is fresh pond so that kind of gets through next so that's uh, basically my project to uh, try and eliminate the inconsistency and um, I think I have been uh, reasonably successful so far. I have been able to talk to a couple of folks from the Township Transportation um, Committee and turns out they are part of the Department of Transportation. So they have promised me as much help uh, as they can. Uh, and they, they're very empathetic with uh, the problems that we are facing and they do agree that there's a big opportunity here to reduce traffic, uh, the reduce the air pollution, reduce uh, emissions, and essentially improve the quality of life. Thank you.